Hi Aries, this is Shah from Charlie's Angel Tarot and I'm sorry I haven't been live but I haven't got internet as you most probably know. Hopefully I will have internet back on Monday. Um, I do miss you a lot and I miss all my lives and I hope you will enjoy this brief reading as I am going to another location as today I'm going to do a tarot marathon you most probably know about that as well on Facebook to raise money for Marina to um, that needs a life-saving operation that said uh, I'm going to try to keep it short because I'm trying to do as many videos as possible so I can upload them whilst I'm at the other location I'm missing you like mad um, but remember I do love you and I miss you please like and share as much as possible and if you're new welcome to the channel this is your reading for all of you from the 19th to the 25th of October we are entering Scorpio okay we're going into a different energy a more a spiritual and emotional energy Wow um, and I've just realized that whilst I was doing Pisces okay so please subscribe and hit the bell on all and remember set your settings in YouTube and your mobile device the first card that I have is the tower there will be unexpected changes but this is number 16 and 16 becomes 7 so it will be a lucky change take it as an adventure and as uh, excitement okay something was not built on proper foundations so that's why the divine is giving you this new start you might not have been able to make a choice or a decision with regards to a question or a situation so that is why the universe and the divine stepped in to change your situation you can't cry over spilled milk you can't you can look back but it's no use you can only change the present and the future you hold the key by making the right choice and by making a decision and not letting the divine step in and do it for you this could be with regards to a relationship this could be with regards to a, a job or work or your business as we have the elder the elder is the hierophant the um, the hierophant does represent uh, Aries so you might be meeting an other Aries or you could be seeking um, uh, legal advice or professional advice from a father figure or a mature man that you respect but nowadays a lawyer or an advocate a doctor or anything else um, that could also be a woman because the professions are have changed for women and men okay so you might even be seeking legal advice or medical advice or um, wisdom uh, I get the word wisdom educational advice so you might even seek advice from a career officer okay with regards to change perhaps perhaps you might want to change your career um, what I'm also hearing you will be feeling more powerful perhaps in this emotional uh, time because we are going into and it is a spiritual card, uh, a card because he's the high priest hierophant elder you name it you might be more spiritual so you might be seeking change in from non-believing to opening up like the volcano and letting your emotions go out and seek spiritual advice and guidance perhaps you might be more spiritual yourself at the moment and that is your change perhaps you're transforming from uh, somebody that is conscious about spirituality into the next level of spirituality you are growing you've been studying you hold the key to your own conscious your higher self on Wednesday we have the Knight of Swords like I said 
you might be opening up like the volcano and the swords stand for wisdom truth seeking the truth um, also clarity honest honesty justice if you are not in a legal uh, situation or judicial situation you might be seeking knowledge of the spiritual world get climbing up to the next level since the divine has given you this look and it will bring you peace because you've got the dove the knight of swords means um, news so you could be receiving information if you are asking guidance from this person through email cyber uh, like zoom or skype you might seek a spiritual advice from a medium or a psychic or somebody that teaches spirituality anyway you will get clarity and you will get the truth that you seek this could news could also come through text message or some on a media platform like Facebook or YouTube you might be starting to watch mediums or tarot or Lenormand cards or other spiritual news awesome you could also be meeting a Gemini a Libra or an Aquarius they are the talkers they are the teachers because they spread knowledge like the air signs stand for you have the five of wands <coughs> five of wands might be the uh, disagreements you might be conversing since we've got the air sign here with a teacher or a leader and you might disagree on some points but remain open like the volcano for ch sudden change this is also competition you might be in competition with somebody okay don't worry about that but you know these uh, disagreements or arguments are short-lived because it's not the five of swords <coughs> excuse me at the end of the week you have the devil you could be meeting a Capricorn or you you might um, need advice or clarity on somebody that has a bad habit or perhaps you might have a bad habit be eating too much burning the candle on both sides because we do have the two people here on both sides you your masculinity might be ruling your femininity or your feminine side might be ruling um, the masculine side so you might be feeling out of swords okay if it isn't you uh, then it could be somebody else that's manipulating you and that you need clarity and guidance and advice this could be a, a sudden break up of a marriage or a relationship as he's also the priest and the priest marries people and brings people together like I said you might be trying to seek advice on what to do to break away from this this uh, person or from this habit this bad habit or addiction that you might have you might be eating too many sweets and you need medical advice and you've got the swords here wisdom doctors surgeons you might want to get a stomach reduction so that you can lose weight and eat healthily like I said um, it could be a bad habit or an addiction of yours but it could also be another person if it's another person it could be an addiction or bad habits but it could also be that somebody else is manipulating you so that you are always in strife in competition or in disagreements with this person you are your own person Aries remember that you are a fire sign you know what you want you're strong you're stronger than you think I know um, a, a break up is heartbreaking and emotionally horrible definitely and you do need to seek advice for um, emotional support and other support but it's better to break free from somebody that's manipulative or is uh, or has a bad habit or an addiction um, because you want to be free and you ha you are your own person you don't need to be somebody's slave or backbone 
perhaps you might feel that you are carrying all their burdens and that you are nurturing them and they are not changing remember a dog you can learn a dog new tricks and a fox as well but a fox never it, it they shed their fur but not their tricks you know you can teach an old dog new tricks but the basics always remain so be aware and be warned you will have victory though because you've got the six of swords lying underneath it you are moving away from rough waters going to quieter waters you might be going on holiday or moving home but you're definitely moving away from this situation you're sick of it and that's it, what um, the divine and the angels are giving you the courage the strength to move away from manipulation or addictions seek help from a doctor if it is you if not tell this other person to seek advice from a professional you might be crossing water as you might be going on holiday or moving home with the six of wands you've got the five of pentacles you might feel left out yes I can understand that if you're breaking free and you might feel left out but remember this looks like a church window there are institutions and municipalities and people that love you and that will help you and support you you might have outgrown this relationship and moving away and feeling alone don't worry this change take it as an adventure and as an exciting new beginning join a club don't shy away to ask for help from people that love you and you know that love you and will support you or from institutions like a doctor or a lawyer or a social worker somebody that can set you on the right path and we've got the five of cups underneath don't cry over spilled milk you hold the key like I said you hold the key there's a key in the book and you can't change the past you can only stand up dust yourself off change the present and the future and funny enough is you have uh, lots of fives a five 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 four fives so four fives have a look on Google what that means four times five is twenty and that becomes a two so at the end of the week you will be coming back into your balance and boom you've got the five of cups again this is a big warning at underneath the deck you are going through a transformational period somebody from the other side is helping you transform your chakras are being cleared you've got the rainbow heaven and earth are connected they see your situation and that you are sad or depressed or too much in your mind break free don't rem you can reminisce about the past but you can't change the past you can only change now so you've got five fives that's even more significant and it came up at five minutes and five twenty five seconds wow again five is significant for you this week Aries you will have victory you are moving away from rough waters and you've got the chariot so you might be meeting a cancer but you've got victory you're moving onwards and upwards you're in no, no two ways about it you have victory you've got recognition you're the victor you've got recognition from family and friends so if you need help don't shy away to ask you will be moving home and you will be traveling going on holiday even with this COVID you want to get out of this situation you don't want any more bickering and arguments you are breaking free good on you stand in your own power we have the cobweb from the tea leaf readings 
protected from negative forces beyond your control. Here you are, that is the tower again. Protected against forces beyond your control. Handshake, a meeting with a stranger could be important. That could be the Cancer, okay. That could also be a Gemini, a Libra, um, or an Aquarius, or an Aries, or a Capricorn, okay. And you've got cracked cup, dissatisfaction with life. Yes, there you are, dissatisfaction in life. You um, uh, this cup is broken. You can't. You can stick it back together again, but it will never be the same. Okay. Dissatisfaction. These cards, definitely the fives. You're upset. You're not satisfied as what the way it's turned out. Now you are at the end of your tether. End of tether. Hand it over. You've got an action card, red. You've got the sword of protection and clarity. Boom. There you go. Archangel Michael is present is present and feels you are you overwhelming frustration. It is time to complete hand over and surrender the situation for transformation. This sword is presented symbolically to you by Archangel Michael as a call for de definite action. Archangel Michael has been standing at your side for su some time supporting you with this complex situation in your life. He has ushered extra angels to surround all those involved. The angels comment, comment you on following all guidance that has been delivered and have heard your prayers and delivered them to God or to the Divine. Archangel Michael hears your pleas for extra assistance. He understands that you feel exhausted and at the end of your tether like you have hit a brick wall. Not knowing what to do next, Divine Timing is the most crucial aspect surrounding this situation now. At this time, in time, the only course of action for you is to take, is to completely current, completely current the situation to God, hand it over to the Divine. Archangel Michael gives you permission to hand it over, write the situation down on a piece of paper and place it in your angel, to your angels, to hard basket or on your angel altar I think there's a, a typing typo here to put it in a heart basket or on your angel altar and then let go and let the divine do the work Wow don't be at the end of your tether ask for help okay you can do it earthly and you can ask the angels and the divine. I hope you've enjoyed this reading Aries. Take care, stay safe and please like and share. And I'll see you soon.